and September 11th happened. And in response to September 11th, they, uh, Peter and Fran and Philippa, wa you know, wanted to find some way to, I mean, the whole movie is about good versus evil. The whole story, the whole book is about the nature of good and evil. But they wanted to find some poetic way to capture that. So they went to the book and they found this speech or compiled this speech and um, they, 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 first, they gave it to different characters. And then they, they ultimately decided that it wasn't working with the other characters, so they thought, well, let's give it to Sam and see if it makes sense for Sam to do. And I remember sitting in my, uh, at my house, my wife and young daughter, and the fa fax machine. <laughs> fax machine. <laughs> What my mom still has. <laughs> Facsimile. Um, it rolls up and it goes under and you can't, and it can't. So anyhow, I came through the fax machine and I read this scene and I just thought, you know, it's just one of the greatest things ever. So it's like in the great tales, Mr. Frodo, the ones that really matter. Folk in those stories had lots of chances to turn him back, only they didn't. They kept going. There's a whole lot of that stuff, other stuff, but uh, because they were holding on to something. And then what does he say? Say it again. Yeah, I liked what she said. Um, uh, that there's some good left in this world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for. It's all right. Chills. Oh, man. That scene gives me chills and makes me cry like every time. You, you guys, he, he goes into a lot of these great stories.